welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Tony Green, Psychic Medium. So we're going to get started with today's show as we do right away every week. Um, and I'm going to start uh, with some announcements. I'm I never see how I look until the camera comes on and then I'm super distracted by my crooked bangs that I cut myself. <laughs> I need to stop that. I say it on every show, but I mean it on every show. Okay, so here we go. We are gonna get started. I'm gonna just make a couple of quick announcements. And the first um, announcement is, I will never ever reach out to you. Ne never ever on any social media thing um i won't reach out and say oh you need a reading you cash app and none of that i don't even have cash app i don't even understand cash app yeah it's it's yeah anyway so um the next thing i'm gonna say i will be taking callers through the whole show so if you would like to call in the call in number is 845-277-9131 yes that's the call in number if you have a question push one and i'll be happy to um to answer your question or connect you to a loved one on the other side if you do call in please make sure you have an exact question or an exact loved one that you want to connect with. Second, if you are joining us on YouTube, thank you to everybody in the chat who's been chatting. I wanna um, congratulate Sal, Sal, Saladini, I'm sorry, Sal, I just met S-A-L-V-A-D-I-N-I. -I. And that's important today because Sal's book is up on Amazon and his book is, um, even though I know what it is, I want to get it exact. Clairvoyant Energy Tools by Sal Orlando. So his Salvadini, uh, now I can say it. Salvadini is not the last name. Orlando is. Um, Clairvoyant Energy Tools by Sal Orlando. And you can, you can just Google that on Amazon. He has it on Amazon. It'll come right up. Okay, next. Patrick, hey Patrick, everybody, um, congratulate Sal for his book and tell Patrick happy birthday. Tomorrow is Patrick's birthday. Happy birthday, Patrick. Um, see what a close knit community we have on YouTube. If you'd like to be part of this or to call in, go to Blog Talk and click that button to let to be known every time your show, my show comes up. Or you can, jo you can join the show live every Monday at noon central or every Wednesday at 7 p.m. central also. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to go through names of people. I'm going to go through names. These could be your name or the name of somebody on the other side or somebody that you mutually knew. Whatever name comes through, even if one name comes through, like let's say Paul, if five people know a Paul on the other side, it could be for all five of you. So don't, if somebody claims it, don't go, oh, it was their Paul. Paul. It could be your Paul. And the, the next thing I'm, I'm just going to tell you before I even start with the name, somebody's going bacon and eggs, bacon and eggs. So I just feel like whoever that is for, you just know. And I know that's not for me because I'm allergic to both bacon and eggs. Love them both, allergic to both. It will shut my throat right down. So that is definitely not for me, folks, unless somebody wants me to come home with them. I'm just going to say that's a solid no. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to start with names. We're going to go into songs and any messages that we're getting in there saying Pink Floyd, bacon and eggs. And then I, and then I am also hearing Pink Floyd. These are probably not from the same person. Could be probably not names. Names. James is the first name I'm getting. Oh, <laughs> Jay Francis is saying love bacon and eggs. Me too, Jay Francis. Me too. I love bacon. You know, even though I am allergic to bacon and it will literally make my throat itch, I will have a bite of it. 
every once in a while. I, I just, I love it so much. Hey, Tanita. Um, okay. <clears throat> names. James is the first name. And then we're going to go into the rest of the names. Charlotte. Augie. A-U-G-I-E. Augie. <clears throat> it could be short for something. Please understand that. Don. Donnie. Um, Michael. Michelle. The next name that I'm hearing is Linda. The next name that I'm hearing is L L Lorenzo or Lorenza. And the next name I'm hearing is pa Paco or Pacho. Paco. It's like taco, but with, <laughs> but with a P. Hey, Paco. <laughs> I think I need a friend named Paco just so I can say it all the time. <laughs> Paco. Okay, focus. Guadalupe. Fernando. Mika. M-I-C-A. Mika. Emilio. Pauline. And they're saying Michelle again. Any other names? Joe. Two more. Stephanie. Who else? Jimmy. Those are the names that I'm getting today. Thank you so much. Now I'm going to go into songs. These could be your song that you love, they love. It could be the answer to a question. It could be a song you listen to together. Here's what I'm going to tell you. There, are, I just saw, Do you guys see my lights flashing? There are no lights on in here. So when you see that flashing, that is heaven saying hello, hello, hello. That's another reason to watch the show. And you can watch the show on WSES, um, all of their streaming chan channels. Rude Rangers puts my show out on every single one of their streaming channels. Um, including Roku, Trailblazers, all of them, and uh, so there. And I'm on almost every podcast, if not every podcast. And um, and uh, radio stations. Okay, I think that's everything. Okay, so uh, the songs. The so the first song I need to sing was for um, actually for I think it was Fawn. Wild thing. No, Maris, Wild Thing. Um, that's the first song that came through for I it, there were other th songs that came. I almost said thongs. So thong, 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 thong. <laughs> it's never mind. Oh my goodness, our show is already going there. Um okay. There are okay. Um there were other songs that came through this morning on for for other people, but that wild thing just got me this morning. So I had to I had to give it a, a proper shout out. Okay, I'm gonna go into <clears throat> excuse me. I'm gonna go into the songs. And yes, I know I cannot sing. So if it hurts your ears, please cover them now. Life is a highway. And I'm going to ride it all night long. Okay, I know that was really offbeat and tone and tune and everything, but that's the first song. Um, the next song coming through, they want me to say, let me love you again. That song, let me love you. Okay, that song is coming through again, which came through this morning. The next song that's coming through is, I got my thumb, not, and not, not, not. I think it's called Mac the Night, but I can't hear the words, but I see I see a frog in a tuxedo with a cane dancing to it. It's a cartoon. That's for someone. That is solid straight for someone. A frog in a tuxedo. No. No, I do not get high before my show. No. <laughs> Mac the knife. 
Yeah, that's the song, Patrick. Thank you. Hey, Kate, good morning. Um, okay, I'm going to go to the next song. And the next song is that song, um, I Just Hear Meatloaf. And then I hear that song, On the Road Again. Uh, not the country one, the other one. When you're riding 16 hours and you're something from the something. And <laughs> <laughs> and something something and you just want to explode or unload <laughs> oh my musical abilities are just bad oh, okay so the next song i'm only gonna do two more because this morning i am like just killing it even worse than i normally do um the next song is um um, here we go. Dun, 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 hurrah, hurrah. I don't really know that song. I mean, I'm sure I've heard it at some point. And then the next song is, um, Jesus, Jimmy Crack Corn and I Don't Care. <laughs> and I really, really don't. Okay, those are the songs. Um, songs will come through all through the readings today. If you would like to connect and get the full energy effect of your question, call in 845-277-9131. Two seven seven nine one three one, and when I am on the phone with you, I do connect better with you. That's why I, I do my feet, my feeding, my readings over the phone, because um, it, I'm right there with you. You're asking me questions in a private reading because I really want to connect with your energy, and make sure I'm understanding your questions. But if you're uh, in the YouTube chat, you can also answer a question. I will do the best to get that answer for you. I am going to tell you, when I call your area code, please have a very specific question, one, or a um, specific person you want to connect with on the other side. Um, I just need their first name and relationship to you. And if you have a question for the person on the other side, please ask it right away, not after I've given you the message. Okay, I'm going to go to the, the uh, 860. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Amla. How are you? Good, Amla. How are you? I'm doing okay. Um, I'll get to the question. I um. I've lost some vision, um, but with it comes always the gifts. And um, basically, it's it's weird. In a nutshell, I've never felt so much more brighter and much more full in my life. And um, I just am done with the shenanigans. I cut people out of my life that don't no longer serve me. So it feels like I'm just, even though I lost vision and I had to mourn the death of it, in air quotes, um, I just feel like I'm on the other side and, and ready to meet somebody really who's on my wavelength. I, I, I'm like an all or nothing girl right now. Like you show up or you don't, that's it. So what do you feel for that? I feel time? like you're right. I feel like that is absolutely positively 100% true. The one thing I want to tell you, and I know that the angels have said this to you before. And they're, they just want to make sure they're saying it again. Losing your vision is not a handicap. Um, and don't come at me, folks. This is not me. I would not want to be in her shoes. I don't think it's a park in the walk walk in the park oh my gosh yeah i don't think <laughs> yeah. i don't i i'm so like i do not know um i do i channel what i get so the difference it, when i'm doing readings things come out of my mouth and half the time i don't even know what the heck is going to come out of my mouth yeah <laughs> So when words come out and sometimes I'm going, oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that. And then other times I'm going, oh my gosh, I just said that. Um, but let's just, let's just be, you know, we are, for those of us on this page 
most of us know prior to coming in, we have an Akashic book, Akashic records, and we it was written millennials ago before our soul came in for the very first time. And we agreed to come in in certain ways to have certain life experiences. And as one thing goes, other things get stronger. And Amla, part of the reason um, you agreed to this in this life is because you're supposed to see beauty without physical physical attributes. Uh, you're supposed to see beauty yeah. without physical attributes. So, and I'm going to say this, and please don't, this is a, hypo, a, a what if, just a what if. Um, what if, you know, you lose your vision and you meet what you think believe to be the most amazingly beautiful man um, because of his behaviors and actions, but not actually because of his physical features. Maybe he has like, you know, something he doesn't find himself attractive, but with you, he finds himself a beautiful person because the two of you can just love each other without worrying about that aspect of it. And he's very kind and generous right. and he's such a good person, but you have to get to that point to be matched with him. Now, I'm not saying that you're superficial, but what I am saying is we are all superficial to a certain point. We <laughs> like what we are yeah. like. We have a type. Mine is very dysfunctional and unhealthy, by the way. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Do not come at me, dysfunctional, unhealthy people. I do not want you. Um, that was a joke. That was a full 100. Wait, a full circle is 360. That was a full 360 degree MNFN joke. Do not come at me. I, oh, I'm dysfunctional. Let me have you. No. Go. Um Go back to sleep with it, Sally, and leave this girl alone. Um, so um, what I am saying, though, is that sometimes what the person we're supposed to be with doesn't look like our type, and we would never give them a chance. And the person coming in for you, which is coming in on the heels of, of in, in November, heels of November, what it is, uh, what it is, <laughs> what it is, folks, <laughs> what it is, y'all. There's a song that does... <laughs> What's up? I'm so sorry. Um, ah, okay. They're coming in during next. They're coming in soon. I want to leave it at that. I don't want to give a specific month because it depends on some things with you. And I'm going to tell you okay. this person okay. has character and is kind and is loving, but it's, typically a person and excuse the pun that you wouldn't even look at and there's that my love oh <laughs> and there's that yes okay. spirits on it all day i feel like i should go but um bum <laughs> like it's a person you wouldn't even <laughs> look at but um bum uh and and so i think that everything is happening in perfect timing I do believe you're going to fall in love with who this person is, and it's going to be absolutely um, beautiful for you. And this person is going to, for the first time, feel very comfortable being who they are with you, with, with being comfortable in who they are while they're with you. Yeah. Okay, I hope that that, that makes, makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Yes, that, that thank cool. thank you for that. I, I I really appreciate this. I needed I I you know it was it only it kind of the, the vision lost like it was a surprise this time. It was like what, and it only happened last week. So I'm just you know I wrote books and 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 I talk about this. It's like you have to mourn. You have to be honest with yourself, and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just going through all the motions of it. I think emotionally, I'm um I'm okay. It's not about like now, you know, okay, what's next for me? And just, to, you know, being practical and yeah. um, being grounded with this. Uh, and because the, the, the vision, it literally is telling me the vision does not define me. Right. Literally. It, yes. So that's what I'm going with. Um, yeah. So um, I appreciate it. I, I just can't wait to meet somebody who actually sees me for me. And thank you for this. Uh, it gives me 
so much more hope and, and um, I'm ready. I, I think this is exactly where I need to be, you know, and start fresh and new. Excellent. Excellent. Um, I'm la I think that that's going to be really good for you. And I, I know that you are going to have somebody coming in that's going to be really good. And I know what you're going through is very... On one hand, it's very traumatic. But on the other hand, it, it's very enlightening, as you said. And you have to focus on the good. You have to fo stay focused in that area where... Um, it's very positive. And I know any one of us listening probably would have a very difficult time even comprehending that to any level. So I really do hope that you um, can embrace it. And I'm going to, for you and everybody listening, re-listening, we're going to clear all trauma from any event at any time. So let's just start clearing the trauma, all that caused it, all that's kept it. And Amla, they're asking me to do a clearing. And this is why I kind of muted you too, is because they are wanting me to um, do a clearing and they were bringing me this message and I kind of needed to hear them. And the, the message is to do a clearing on what you don't want to see, like, Every single one of us refuses to look at things and see certain things. We we live in a constant state of denial or half blindness with our mind, our eyes, our ears. We hear what we want to hear, see what we want to see um, until we can't any longer. And then we're like, uh oh, <laughs> I guess I was ignoring that for a really long time. So let's do a clearing on seeing what we don't want to see or what we don't want to face. Who? Oh, if anybody else is feeling that, please, the trauma or this one, please do let me know. Please, please, please. Amla, thank you for calling in and keeping us updated. I know there are so many listeners, so many, so many show people. I, I think I say this is our show. It's not my show. It's our show. I know there are so many people from the show that have been keeping up with what's going on with your story and everybody else's story. So thank you for updating us and please call back. I'll be here Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Call back and let me know how you're doing because I, I always think about you and how you're doing. Um, there's a question online from, I have to go back to it, Jessica. Jessica, hi, Tony. I work with some, <laughs> I work with some women, some, okay, I have to reread that. I'm so sorry. I started laughing and I skipped a part. Hi, Tony. I work with some women that are some real life mean girls and I'm not sure why I am. Don't speak to me hardly respond when I speak. <clears throat> not sure what the reason is or what to do. Should I change jobs? Um, I get a no on the changing jobs. Here's the deal. It's some job places are just like high school. They already have their little click formed and their little whatever. And when somebody new comes in, or if you've been there for a minute, um, they, they're intimidated by you. You don't fall into their little gossip group. Your frequency or energy may be much, much higher than theirs. And they may feel in some way threatened by you. I'm going to tell you something and hear this clearly. People are shy to people they're threatened by. People are shy to when they see somebody and they're happy or they're pretty or they're, you know, whatever they've got, they've got a good body. Um, People are super shy to them because I'm not going to use the word jealousy or hate, but both of those words really, really fit. Um, 
but don't let other people's bad behavior change your destiny. Um, and, you know, I've said this so many times on my show, and I'm going to say it again. We don't go to work to find besties. And it's actually in your favor that these mean girls are not friends with you because, because they're not friends with you, you can go in, do your job and get out. And if, the, if you were part of their little clique, um, you would probably absorb some of their energy and become somewhat of a mean girl also. they And I'll, I'll repeat this too, because it's so worth repeating. And it's been said by so many really famous, good people. If you hang around five poor people, you're going to be the next poor person. If you hang around five successful or people or millionaires, you're going to be the next millionaire. But if you also, if you hang around five drug addicts, you're probably going to be the next drug addict, whether you realize it or not. If you hang around five mean people, catty people, gossipy, negative people, you're going to be the next negative person. And that's just, it is what it is. And you get to make your choices in life. Choose better. Choose better. So you're not having to be forced to make the choice. Just go in, do your job, and uh, move on. You, if you stay with this company, in some way you'll move up or move over. Um, I am getting that. If you try to, Jessica, I need to know what 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 state are you in? Tell me what state are you in, and I'll I'll tell you. I'm gonna scroll down. Uh, I'll tell you what I get about changing a job because right now it seems like there might not be a job available right away for you. So if you just start looking now, you might get um, Oklahoma City. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Jessica. I think OKC means Oklahoma City. If I'm wrong, well, I'm, I'm sometimes I don't know these abbreviations. Um, yeah, I'm getting that there's not going to be a job right away. Keep a lookout and make sure if and when you switch, it's for more money and I say this all the time, and I'm going to say it again, never run from something because you will end up with it at the next place. Always be running to something. So if you're in a bad relationship and you cheat, you end up with somebody worse than the person you're with. But if you get out of that relationship, you look at the dynamic and then you start, you'll end up with somebody better. Mm. Good reason, right? Logic. Okay. So... I'm going to go to the next caller, 570. 570, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello? Hi. Um, hi, my name is Kayla. I'm calling from Pennsylvania. Hey, Kayla, how can I help you today? Um. Yeah, I was just wondering if I had any messages from my grandfather. What's his first name, love? Adolf. 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 Okay. Give me a second here. Uh -huh. Well, the f the first thing that I'm hearing, I'm I first. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna be honest. His energy is not coming through in a an extremely strong way yet. OK, um, but it is okay. it is coming through. So give me a second while his energy comes through. And sometimes that happens and it's it's not it doesn't mean it's not good. So I'm just going to tap in and. Right. Um, Kayla, the first thing that you need to know is they're bringing up work and this may not be what you want to. To know, and when I say they, your family comes in as a collective. I just go in and start talking to one person, and then they all answer collectively. But having that name kind of gives me permission to get into their energy. The first thing they're saying is your about work, 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 work. Um, that way, work, 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 work. So, Kayla, what what work are you doing right now? Um, right now, I'm looking for work. Uh, nah, thank you. Okay, 
<clears throat> and again, I hear that. Work, 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 work. Okay, so I'm hearing two things for you, <clears throat> Kayla. The first thing is, um, I'm actually hearing three things for you. And uh, boy, now they now they won't stop talking. <laughs> I love it. Um, the first <laughs> thing is if you can find something that will immediately um, start to bring you cash. Oh, sorry, everybody. Um, will immediately bring you cash. It doesn't have to be forever. It can be for now while you're looking for something else. But I always say a cash job is something you can do uh, that, that, like a waiter, waitress, a bartender, they make pretty, uh -huh. if you get in the right place, you're going to make pretty good money. Um, but that's what I'm hearing. And there are a lot of other cash jobs. Let me tell you, you can, you can offer out to people, you know, I'll go get your groceries. I'll go do all your shopping. Just give me this much. Um, but, and you could do that for five people and have five people paying you for the same trip to the grocery store. No joke. Um, Right. And so they're saying just whatever, just bring cash in, cash, cash in now. Um, the next thing they're okay. saying, there is something you could do on your own, like a business you could start on your own. It would be a side thing. You would still need to look for what they're calling a day job, especially in the beginning until your side thing or your own thing took off. But there is something you can do you're capable of doing on your own. Now, a lot of people will say to me, but, oh, but I'm, a, I'm, um, I'm an accountant. I'm making something up, Kayla. Okay. Well, contract with somebody that's uh -huh. on your own. You can contract accounting positions with companies and that's on your own. Okay. Whatever you right. do, you can create a contract or become an independent contractor for that business in for a business until you know and then before you know it you're employing people that are getting contract con contracted yeah right okay now um as far as an actual day job comes in i hear october november i feel like there's going to be something serious something um you can seriously you're going to interview for something in october in november you'll have it it's a more serious position the pay is fair it's good. And you're going to like the position. It's in it's what I'm hearing is it's okay. in alignment with what you want. OK, just make sure you make a list okay. of all those things and be 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 somewhat practical. You can't say I want I want to work at Walmart and make three hundred thousand dollars a year. Um, maybe right. that's, that could be possible if you're like a district manager or a regional manager, but might not be the start off position. Okay. So be, be, be practical mm -hmm. about it. Or it might be that you're running one of Walmart's okay. FEMA camps. I don't know. If you know, you know, don't come <laughs> at me. If you know, you know, do not come yeah. at me. Um, so <laughs> it's a real thing. They're out there. Yes, they are. Go ahead and Google it on TikTok. <laughs> um, so that is what I'm getting for you. Um, and that that is what, what, what your grandfather wants to say to you. I hope this was helpful. But they're saying be very diligent in your search and whatever you need to do to bring some cash in right now jump on it and on it okay. and on and on and okay we've got <laughs> okay. it folks we've got it okay thank you so right, much thank you. Kayla. thank you thank you bye-bye bye-bye okay if you'd like to call in and ask a question the number is 845-277-9131 and the answer to the question where did the children go just said it a few qu few minutes ago in the show all righty. If you'd like a private reading, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. I'm going to go back up to Lolly's question. Hey, does my mother, Catherine, have anyone she wants to er earn me about in Cape Town? Warn? I think the word is warn. Does my mother, Catherine, have anyone she wants to warn me about in Cape Town? I should have listened to her in the past. Okay, Lolly, the first thing I'm hearing is you already know and let your spidey senses um, 
let your spidey senses give you those answers. Okay, sweetie, that's what I'm hearing. I hope that that is helpful for you. I hope that that makes sense for you. But you're you're very well aware of it already. You're very well aware. You're very well aware. Okay, if you do call in and you'd like to ask a question, please post push the one on your key thing so that I know you want to ask a question. I am going to go to 920. 920, what's your name and where are you calling from? Um, I'm Dawn from Wisconsin. Hey, Dawn, how are you? I'm doing okay. How are you, Tony? I'm good, love. I'm good. So what would you like? I think I know what you'd like today, but I'm going to let you tell everybody. What would you like today? Well... Uh, I want to know if I'm going to sell my husband's classic car. Yeah. I've had some interest in it in the year that he died, but I got a lot of guys coming in and I think they think because I'm a chick, I don't know what I'm talking about. I had the car pro professionally appraised. Um, I did lower the cost of the car, but things have kind of calmed down and I haven't had any bites on it. And I really like to sell the car. Okay. What I'm getting done is that throw a wider net okay so put okay like however okay there's two things i'm seeing there are classic car magazines and you can list it in there don't worry about how quickly you sell it make sure it goes to the right person and don't worry about lowering the cost too much because right now people are paying crazy prices for vehicles any vehicle True. so don't worry about the price right. of the vehicle worry about it going to the correct person and make sure that the listing like if you're listing in your area listed in chicago listed in vegas listed okay. in florida yeah listed in arizona i, I do have it on Mm -hmm. I, I do have it on a website called carsonline.com. And of course, through Facebook, I have done it. And, you know, mm -hmm. I was, like I said, at, 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 in the fall, I got some bites on it. And because I live in Wisconsin, I had to store the car. That didn't help. Um, and then in the spring, had a few more bites on it. But again, people thinking that they could lowball me and that I was okay. just going to, you know, jump at the dollar amount. I'm not that chick. It's not going to happen. And the, and again, I'm I'm going to say cars.com isn't getting a lot of mm, whatever from me. I'm getting go like find some place like for example Craigslist um, in Chicago, not like Chicago the city, but the the suburbs of Chicago. I'm getting like okay. find how you can list it, even if you're using. Craigslist. I have a friend in Florida and he is, he looks for cars all the time, certain very specific cars. And he's, he, many of the vehicles that he finds are on Craigslist. But the other thing I'm getting is there are, if this is a classic car and it's very well kept, which I'm hearing it is, there are like hot rod, oh, that's what they're called, like muscle or hot rod or classic car magazines that you just put ads in and people who are collectors will look at them. Um, yeah. And make your name a dude name. Make your name a dude, like don't, don't use your name when you're listing it. Um, use a guy's name oh. and then go from there instead of Don, use Doug. Oh, that's a good idea. Just remember when somebody calls and that's says, hey, idea. is Doug there? Don't go. You got the wrong number. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do that. Yeah, I would end up, but I would sabotage and, myself there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but, and tell people to text, to text only in the beginning. Like you'll only respond to text so you don't have to talk to people because sometimes when you talk to people, they, they just, they're, they're time wasters. They're just time wasters. So those, that's yeah. what I'm getting for yeah. you, sweetie. That's what I'm getting. I hope that's really helpful, sweetie. 
Do you see me actually selling it before the snow flies? No, you're going to sell it in the spring. So don't even worry about it until then. Okay. Okay. And don't. All right. Well, and, thank you. That's helpful. And again, and again, Donnie, I want to say, make sure you're giving it to the, or you're selling it to the right person, not just to the, yeah. the, the whoever comes along and the right person will be so in love with it. They won't lowball it. What kind of car is it? It is a 68 convertible GTO and it's Verado green oh. and it is all original. Nice. Very nice. I, that's why I had a, that's why I had a professionally appraised because even, even aside from my personal knowledge of the car, when Greg bought it, um, I didn't want some guy coming in and saying, well, you're asking X amount of dollars for it. Where do you get off asking that? I paid extra money to have it professionally appraised. And the guy that did it um, had done all of Jay Leno's cars and some of Tim Allen's cars. Okay. So if that tells you anything, yeah, um, this, Dawn, this guy is reputable and he stands on what he does. Don, another thing I'm hearing is you have family members in different areas like Michelle. So have her also like list it in her area with your number and just see what okay. happens. Okay, sweetie. Oh, that's a great idea. That's an awesome idea. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You are so welcome, sweetie. Have an amazing rest of the day. I'm going to um, go to the next question online. Tainita wants to know, would love to hear from my grandparents in spirit or loved ones that come forward for me. Tainita, your grandparents want to say, the first thing they want to say is money's coming in. And Tainita, you know, sometimes when I see money coming in for people, I'll see gold coins. But what I'm seeing is like dollar bills, y'all. Dollar, 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 dollar bills, y'all. I know I'm not singing that correctly, but we get the idea. Like a bunch of um, dollar bills coming on you, like money, actual paper money coming down on your right side. But you have your back turned. It's coming down behind you. It's like you have your back turned to this opportunity. Tainita, what's going on? Why do you have your back turned to this opportunity? Is it not legal? Is it something naughty? I, I feel like there's this opportunity for money to come in. Like it's, it's there, but you're just not seeing it. Like you have your back turned to it. So I need you to look at all the opportunities being offered to you and I need you to grab onto it. I, I hope that makes sense, sweetie. I really hope that makes sense. I'm going to go to 518. 518, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi there. Um, one second. I'm sorry. Hi there. How are you, Tony? Good. How are you? What's your name, love? Uh, I'm good. My name, my name is Val. And where are you calling from? I, I'm from New York. Excellent, Val. Excellent. How can I help you, beautiful? I, the, the song you were trying to sing in the beginning, On the Road Again. Oh. Here I am. Um, on the road just again. Just so you know. Yeah. You know, like, I don't Thank know what you. it is. Um, yeah. You're go, welcome. I, I, um, I go into a diner and it's the same old cliche. Is it a woman or a man? Yes, that one, right? man yeah yes love that uh -huh. love that okay sweetie how can, thank you for uh -huh. for helping me with that how can i help you love you're welcome i'm just very into music so i'm like i have to just let her know i love your energy by the way oh thank you <laughs> um, thank you you're welcome can i ask you am i may i ask you two quick questions possibly uh i usually give people one let's see how the first one goes and how long it takes and we'll okay. go from there okay gorgeous Thank you so very much. Okay, the first one is, I'm looking for a job. I've applied to several. Um, I even got a, a couple offers, but then I applied for um, as a state agency job. And this is a position I really want. I think the interview went phenomenal. And, but, uh, well, I worked in two other state agencies and one went horrifically wrong. The other one, I think, went pretty well. Um, 
I know they're not going to, they're hiring for a ton of positions. I was told that up front and, um, I was told that training won't start until November. Okay. So do you want to know if you're going to get the position? Have they told you you uh -huh. have a position or what position it is? Well, I know what position it is. Okay. It's so for yeah, and thank you. Customer service call center. Here's what I'm hearing. You're going to get the position you want. You're going to get very close to the price you want. You're going to stay there for as long as you possibly can. And okay. you're going to, now this word is important. Pay attention to the word, the, okay. the descriptor I'm using. Okay. You're going to like the position a lot. Um, it's a oh, job. Oh, yes, it's exactly what I want to do. So it's a job. We don't have to like be in love with our job. It's good if we can, but if we like it a lot, that's really good too. Um, but what I'm getting is it's going to be a very powerful position for you. You're going to be very happy with it. You're going to like it a lot and it's going to bring you some luck. Is your second question about a partner, like a, a you know, yeah. Okay. okay. So I, the only reason I'm going to answer this a second question, because it's with the first question. Um, are you already with somebody Val? No, okay, it's somebody, good. it's a past a partner, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing, I'm he, what I'm hearing is be, when you started asking the question, I heard she's going to meet him with the next job. So there's someone coming in with your next position, but they're not at the place that you work. Okay. okay, he works for the state as well, this person that I am in question of. Okay, what's your question about this person? Okay, it, he's a past, you know, person. Yeah, no. Um, it, I, and no. Mm -mm. I'm just wondering if we will reconnect. No, mm -mm. no, mm -mm. so I'm sorry to, to, to make it short. And I want to repeat my statement. Uh, he's coming mm -hmm. in with your next position. And it's somebody new. It's not someone from the past. Um, okay. What, whatever didn't work out in the past won't work out in the future. Whether you understand and why it didn't work out or not, it just won't work out in the future either. Um, it's a st I'm hearing it's a okay. sticking point. However, now, that mm -hmm. is not like a oh let me figure out how I can work around it. No, F no, F F F F F no. <laughs> um, that means there's somebody better for you. There's somebody more in alignment. We, you know, as humans, we we we're taught as children to make things work, to try to figure it out how to make it work. Mm -hmm. As adults, we need to realize that doesn't count with people because at a certain point people are people people are people never mind okay so uh, i know man. that song too yes so what they're saying is there's somebody else coming in and this person isn't as quirky or agitated or agit such an agitator whatever it is the person coming in is more easygoing um a little more fun, like to get out and go. And the person likes to take weekend trips too. So, and they're come now, they don't work where you work. And this, I'm going to say this in right. a way that will hopefully make everybody laugh. Um, never eat a ding dong at work. Get your ding dong someplace right, else. Okay. Don't, don't eat a ding dong from the office because no, yeah. no. That's not what office ding-dongs are for. Now, having said that, uh -huh. the person that you're going to, you, you somehow meet them in relation to work, but they don't work with you. They don't work in the same type. Like, I, I feel like they don't even work for the state. I feel like they work outside the building, way outside the building, way into a different, <clears throat> they're not 
in this thing there it's different and it's a good fit and that's the way you want it to be okay lovey dove thank you so very much i appreciate everything you are so welcome you have an amazing rest of the day thank you so much for calling in i want to thank all my callers for calling in i'm not quite done yet but i just want to say thank you because i really am grateful for everybody who calls in um, and remember, I am here Monday at noon, Wednesday at 7 p.m. I'm not going anyplace yet. And I do offer private um, sessions for 30 and or 60 minutes if you're drawn to do that. Okay, I did Lolly and I did Tanita. Uh, let me see, what do I have here? Um Everybody's saying happy birthday to Patrick and saying congratulations to Sal. Um, Aaron wants to know, hey, Aaron. Um, Ann is here. Hey, Ann. Um, Aaron wants to know, what kind of guy do you see me dating, marrying? Aaron, um, pop in the, in the thing. What's your age? I want to give you a little extra information on this. I want, but I need to know your age first. And Aaron, please pop in. Wh where are you located? Because I'm, I'm getting some things, and I just wanna, and I don't answer questions if people aren't still online. Just so you know, even though they may come back and listen later, um, I don't want to answer a question for somebody who's not even here anymore. Understandably. Kayla, I do take health questions. However, I have to be really careful in how I answer them because YouTube has changed their policy on what we can say about health if it doesn't match, you know, the MD thing. I'm not allowed to say it any longer because they'll they'll give you a strike and if you get three strikes, you're out and they'll take your show down if you say something they don't like. So anybody who has health questions, that has to be a private session from now on, um, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Okay, let me do this. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to take uh, 562. Five, What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, good morning, Tony. Good morning. My name is Angie. Angie, My name is Angie Tony, and it's very long to talking to you. Um, I do want to ask you about my, uh, I've been trying to conceive, right? And um, I had a dream where my dream baby was showing me that I was pregnant and I was giving birth. Okay. And also, I think he was, uh, so I want to know if it's going to come anytime soon, if you can see when the baby's going to come. Okay. Angie, I think your name is Angie. Angie, here's what I know about dreams and pregnancy and birth. In the dream world, pregnancy can, yes, mean pregnancy. It can We could be dreaming it because subconsciously and consciously we want it so badly. And then also, but pregnancy in the dream world, whether we're pregnant or somebody else is pregnant, means giving birth to new ideas or new creative projects or career changes or something like that coming in also. So giving birth to a new, to something new, an idea, a new baby, but it doesn't have to be a physical baby. It can be a business idea, whatever it is. Um, I do feel like in November, you're going to hear pregnancy news. I don't know if the pregnancy news is yours. But I feel like in December, you're going to be very happy about pregnancy news. So if you hear somebody else is pregnant before you, don't, don't spite them. Child, do not spite them. Be happy for them. Mm -hmm. And remember, pregnancies come in three. Because <laughs> I know sometimes when you've been trying for a hard minute, but um, bump. Um, you, <laughs> Jesus, I'm so immature sometimes. Um, you really want it, and then somebody yeah. else gets it, and you're like, ah, oh, why not me? But be happy for them because that means you could be next. I do feel like 
maybe you find out in November, but you don't tell people till December because you want to make sure it's up and stuck. If that makes sense to you. It's really yeah, pregnant and it's not going anywhere. But what I'm getting yeah. is before the end of next year, you're going to know and you're going to be very, very happy. Maybe before the end of this year, but I'm not so confident saying that. So I'm going to give it. I think it's before the end of this year, but it might be like if it's January, then you'll be very disappointed. But within the next four months, I feel like you're going to get really good pregnancy news, not only from you, but from other people. It's like it's baby bursting season coming up on you. You're going to be really happy about your pregnancy and other people's pregnancy. So I want to know, um, let us know as these happen, let us know. Yeah. And I'm going to do this. Anything stopping I, or blocking? I you from... have a relative that is going to have a baby soon. Oh, well, maybe that's and it. I just found out they're going to have a baby soon. Nice. Well, uh, well, congratulations. I'm going to do this. Anything stopping or blocking you from getting pregnant and having a healthy, happy baby has been cleared. I get a no. Let's clear that. Who And anybody who wants to have a baby, jump on. If you don't want to have a baby, not own that one. Do not. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you so much, love. I, I'm so grateful for you calling okay. in. And you can re-listen to that healing as many times. I listen to it all day, every day if you want. That's that's okay. You cannot do it too much. Oh, whatever it is, it's big. And sometimes it's just the fear of not having it that that makes it you know, like, oh, I can't. I haven't yet, so it's not going to, um, yeah, so there's that, um, but it's all going now. I feel it going. Okay, everybody, I will be back Wednesday at 7 p.m. I want to thank everybody so much who has liked the show, subscribed on every single venue that I'm at. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. I'm so happy, um, that, that, that you are all here with me on this journey. Um, thank you so much. Um, Sal said, it took me a minute to get why not eat out since ding dong at work until I realized it wasn't cake. Yeah, Sal, it's, it's not, it's a, I love you, Sal. I freaking love you. Ding, ding, dong, ding, a ding, 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 dong. Everybody sing it with me. Ding, ding, dong. Ding, 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 dong. (laughs) And ding, dong can mean two things with people you work with. Why are you such a ding, dong? And oh my God, look at that ding, dong. (laughs) Okay, there is. uh, On that note, on that (laughs) very, on that very, don't encourage me. They're throwing hearts all over the chat and, and smiley faces. Do not encourage my my very naughty behavior. You will get more. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. Okay, you guys, I love each and every one of you so stinking much. Remember, it is your job to make and create the miracles in your life. One quick thing before I completely... Um, 90 seconds. 90 seconds. If you are wanting to start something on your own, whether you have a business already, you want to start a second business, you want to, um, whatever it is that you want to do, okay, Um, have your own business, be an independent contractor, start a side hustle that you can do from your home, nails, hair, baking. I I just throw the same things out there. Um, Something aesthetic, something, whatever it is. Okay. What dog grooming? I I don't know. I don't care what it is. Now is the time. Do not wait until January. Do it now and have it ready up and running by January or close to it. Okay. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much.